Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you auto bandwidth EQ control in Reaper. Now the concept of auto bandwidth EQ control is that we could boost or cut our EQs and it will vary the bandwidth of those parameters as the bandwidth is the width of the EQ we're boosting or cutting. And this will work with any plugin in Reaper. Let's take a look. I have a project set up here with a synth, which sounds like this. So add an EQ to this track right over here. And I'm going to use ReEQ because it's an EQ plugin that comes with Reaper. But just know that we do in this video is going to work with any EQ plugin you choose. So I'll double click this and it looks like this. And I'm going to delete all the bands except for one just to keep it simple. Although this will work with as many bands as you want. And I'm going to switch the type to a band shape, which is basically a parametric EQ. So if we boost the frequency, it boosts a little on this side and this side. And that's known as the bandwidth, which we could adjust right here to make it thinner or wider or narrow or broader. And as a quick shortcut to do it in here, we can just drag it up and down for boost, hold on the shift key and drag it side to side to readjust the bandwidth. But in this video, we want the bandwidth to change based on how much we boost the EQ. So if I bring it up here, we want it to look like this. And as I bring it down, we want it to look like this. We want it to happen automatically. And this exists in many famous hardware EQs, giving them the distinct character. But it's also useful for surgical EQ, where you're really hunting for a frequency. So let's see how to do this. Let's put it back by double clicking the gain and the bandwidth. So they both go back to the defaults. Then we're going to click on the bandwidth. So it's the last touched parameter. Then go to the menu and see it's the last touched parameter and choose parameter modulation, which opens up this dialog. Let's move it over here so you can see the plugin and this at the same time. I'm going to choose link from MIDI or effects parameter. Then we'll go over here and choose the re EQ, which is the self or the same plugin we're using. And we'll just choose a different parameter to link it to. We're going to choose gain. So now if we bring up the gain, it also brings up the bandwidth. And if we bring it down, it does the opposite, which is not how I want this to work, but it is useful for a different technique. There's a lot of people that say you should always boost very broad and then cut very narrow. Now, I don't use that that often, but if you like that workflow, this will work for that as well. So as we boost, it's very broad or very wide. And as we cut, it's very narrow. But for us, we want to do the opposite. So let's put them back to the defaults and move the baseline all the way up and move the scale in the other direction. So now, if we boost the frequency, it gets more narrow as we bring it up. If we bring it down, it's wider or more broad. Let's hear it. Notice how you can really focus in on a frequency. It's very useful for finding a frequency to work on, although we can readjust the bandwidth later. We can't do it from down here because it's linked already, so it bounces back, but we can readjust our scale to make it broader or the offset to do the same thing. But it's very useful to have it broad when we bring it up a bit and more narrow as we boost the frequency. And this trick will work with other shapes as well. 
let's put this back to its default, and we can switch it to either high pass or low pass. Let's try low pass, but because we don't boost the low pass or the high pass filter, we can't really use this. So instead, we'll switch it from gain to frequency. So now, as we readjust the frequency of the low pass filter, it changes the bandwidth. Right now, it makes it more broad. Let's do the opposite. Let's move this this way and the scale this way and adjust the offset so it boosts right about here. So now, if we bring it up, it's very broad. As we bring it down, it gets more narrow, making it sound like this. be very useful if we automated or use parametric modulation to affect this. Let's try that. We'll touch the frequency, go to the menu, and choose parameter modulation. It opens this dialog, move it over here, choose LFO. Now we can modulate that frequency, just the speed and the strength and the baseline. And notice, go faster, it readjusts two frequencies at once. Pretty cool. Let's go back to the parametric EQ. Now back to what we had before. And we could also adjust how narrow this gets. Let's first put this back to its default. If we change the scale to minus 50%, and then readjust the baseline to it starts right at the default. And now it's still gonna boost more narrow, but only 50% as much or half as much. So it's not quite as narrow, but it's still more broad down here and more narrow up here. And we could use any scale we want, like 70%. But I prefer to keep it at the default, like this. So I can really find that frequency. And then we can readjust how much we boost. Maybe readjust how wide it is to fine tune it either here or with the offset to get the sound we want. Now to use this again, without having to set it up each time, let's put it back to here and here with the default. Let's just save it as an effects chain. Click in the effects button, right click over here, go to effects chains, save selected effects as chain, Give it a name, save it. And now, if you want to use that effect again, just right click the effects button, go to effects chains, and choose it right here. And it opens it up, ready to go, with this window open as well. So we can tweak our EQ. As the bandwidth is more narrow as we bring it up and more wide or more broad when we boost it less. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create auto bandwidth EQ control in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
tango, boys. Let's go.